Hey everyone, this series is titled, What's Duke Mining This Week? And it's all about which coins are hot right now, which ones are easy to mine, and potentially something that you could just mine a whole lot of right now and sit on for rewards later. So it's the week of May 17th, 2021, and the coins that I am excited about this week, uh, I got two of them for y'all. One of them is called Magpie Coin. M-A-G-P-I-E Coin, Magpie and this coin is relatively new the difficulty is low so when you mine it you get a whole lot of them so you can see my estimated coins per day uh just hashing here out on this computer is 26,865 um so you know that's something that maybe right now is only worth a few pennies uh things like that but it'll hopefully go up right 10 cents 20 cents you know uh, if we're lucky a dollar and then these coins that you've sat on for how long? You know, six months, a year, two, even two, three years. You just forget about them. Open your wallet back up and boom, you got a lot that you can exchange, hopefully at that point, uh, for real USD money or Ethereum or some other cryptocurrency that's more stable. So uh, the objective with these coins is to get a lot when they're new and they're early, early adoption. So that's the first one I wanted to tell you all about, Magpie Coin. I am using our plant, uh, pool.rplant.xyz for the pool to, mat, to mine from. The thing I like about our plant's pool is you go to connect and it gives you everything you need. You get the wallet here. Um, you can scroll down. You can put in your information. You know, what version am I using on which OS? What's my nearest stratum address? What's my wallet address, worker name? And then it will give you that script. Um, so you can paste that into your, uh, you know, your batch file, your SH file if you're on Linux, and just run it. So it's very straightforward. The second coin we're going to talk about this week is Buttcoin, <laughs> or uh, B-U-T-K coin. Um, GR algorithm, you get a couple options here. This is the Ghost Rider algorithm or the Yes Power algorithm. So whichever one that you think your system is best at handling, um, you know, I've already gotten a few of these coins. I only ran it for a few hours and it, it accumulated 21,000 tokens, or sorry, coins here rather, not tokens. And so that was a pretty good payout. Um, again, this one is even newer than Magpie Coin. It's not even listed anywhere. There's no price yet. Um, it's not, you know, really selling at all. So again, you, you mine these when they're early, you sit on them, and then later, you know, you're the guy that, or the gal that got in early and you have 20,000 of them and everybody out there is mining them three years from now and they're trying to get one coin, right? They're like, if I can just get one coin, I'll have a thousand bucks. Well, you've got 22,000 of them. So uh, you're already in the know. You're already uh, ahead of the game. And so, again, all of these batch files can be created right here on our plant's pool. So this one is the GR um, ButK coin. So I'm going to go up here to my ButK GR coin. I'm going to start running it. It's going to use the GR algorithm. And it's going to start uh, pulling in jobs and processing them. But once it's running, you're going to, you know, you're going to see those coins coming in pretty quickly. So, again, these new coins, yeah, there it goes. These new coins, you can get stuff in, you know, you can get 1000 an hour, you can get 10000 a day. So, um, so what we do now is once this is running, we can go look at our uh, pool information here. And you see I had stopped it earlier, so the hash rate stopped. But if we go look here again, and ideally this guy, if we refresh it, it may take a second for it to get some jobs or to connect to the network. There we go. So it's accepted some shares here we see in the background. So now, now we just need to, here we go. So the website updated. So now my worker name, Big Mac, is hashing away. And 
this, these stats will start updating and then you'll see this graph go back up, you know, because it's, you know, it's active again. So again, the coins I'm liking this week are, uh, but, but coin here, the, um, first one we did, which was the magpie coin. And again, these are things that you can run of even a basic computer right now. So like even your home computer, you don't need something fancy. You don't need, you know, 64 core Ryzen or anything like that. You can get a lot of coins right now off of just like a, you know, four core, even a dual core computer. Um, and so you can, you can come here, it'll give you everything you need. If you go to the connect tab, so you go to the connect tab and you can click here and you can download that, that miner. It'll give you the executables, it'll give you the batch files, it'll give you everything. All you have to do is plug in your wallet address. And if you wanna change the, um, the number of CPUs or threads that are running, you can do that too. I'll show you that real quick. So if I go in here to any of my coins here, this, this dash T and the number at the end is how many uh, physical CPUs I'm using. Uh, so that stands for threads. Um, it doesn't do any good to use threads that are more than you've got physical. So like, let's say I've got eight physical cores and two threads per core, 16 threads. You don't want to put T16 in here. You want to put T8. Um, it's actually more efficient just to, to select your physical cores. So I've got a Dell server here, which has four CPUs, each with 10 physical cores. So I'm going to use all 40 physical cores and uh, let that run. Now you might say, well, Connor, of course you're getting thousands of coins. You've got 40 cores here. Okay. Well, you can do the math. First off, these are very old CPUs from 2011. So these are 10 years or more older. Um, Xeon's not even the most efficient, right? Ryzen has, AMD has outdone Xeon's. Um, you know, okay, you're making this many coins a day. You're still going to make five or 6,000 a day on a basic computer. Like even on a, on a really small, um, just normal $500 desktop laptop, you could probably make five or 6,000 of these coins a day. And then you just sit on them, right? So you don't want to, you don't want to, uh, sell them. You don't want to get rid of them. You want to just sit on them for a long time. I'll show you, uh, as these coins are coming in the wallet will show a transaction log. So the wallet will show, um, okay, you're actually getting, you know, five coins, 10 coins, a thousand coins as the uh, blockchain updates. So these are immediately going into my wallet. So you see like 3,000 here, 2,000, 6,900. Um, what it's gonna do, well, I guess it's just resynchronizing the whole network. Um, but what you want to do is you want to check in here and see that your mining profits are coming in. You know, make sure you didn't do a typo in your wallet address, right? You should always copy paste that. Don't type it in manually. Um, but if you have a, a typo in your wallet address, you'll see nothing in here. It's, you're basically, uh, sending all of your coins nowhere. So you want to make sure this wallet address is correct. Um, and, uh, that's all we got for today. So check out Buttcoin, check out... The Ghostwriter algorithm for that one is a little more efficient, at least on my processor, than the Yes Power. And then also check out Magpie. Magpie, I'm getting a whole lot more right now. Uh, if I just if I run that one, so those are my coins of the week. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more info.